Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Gitly Has Plans. In today's video, we are setting up my vision board for 2024 in my Erin Condren Teacher Planner. So let's get started. All right friends, so in this area with these two graph pages, I thought I would set up a vision board. I have here the Happy Planner Fresh Bouquet book. I got this at Hobby Lobby, so I'll be pulling from here. I also have the Planner Kate 2024 vision board set as well, so I'm gonna use a couple of things from here as well. And then I pulled just some other things. I've got some quotes here from Doodle Planner, some quotes here from Orange Umbrella Co., and then quotes here from The Right Place. So I thought I'd pull those just to see where they might fit in. And then I've got already some things pulled that I put on wax paper. These are some things that I pulled from this Happy Planner book, some things that I kind of got it started on with writing in. And then I also have just a couple pictures. I always put pictures of my kiddos. So I have one of Emma and then one of my Otis boy. This was on our Christmas card. And then this is a little bit older, but it's one of Sophie. It was from earlier in 2023. So it's not that old, but I just thought it was so her. This is so speaks to my girl. This was when she went on a fly along in a helicopter. It was either the sheriff's or the police department. Scott has a friend from his squadron that is a helicopter pilot for law enforcement. So they took Sophie on a ride, a fly along. So that was really like a big moment for her. So I wanted to include that. And so let's start with, I kind of don't know what my plan is here other than I did, like I said, a few little things. I'm not sure how this is going to look because this graph paper, the lines are a little darker than like in years past. I've done it on dot grid paper in my plum paper. Speaking of which, I'll wipe this out. I do have last year's vision board here next to me. And I can show you kind of just as a reference what that looked like. I also have the video of when I did that up on my channel just from last year as well. So there's that. My one concern that I do have is that there's just like this whiteout is kind of sticking up here. The stickers, like the florals in this Happy Planet book are all on transparent paper. So that might be a little tricky with this darker grid. So this is what last year's vision board looked like. My word of the year was bloom. And so I had all these florals, my picture of the girls and picture of Otis. So that's kind of what I had there. And so that's just kind of a little reference. So. I, I pulled a couple of blank pieces of wax paper as well just to kind of, it helps me sort of like kind of map things out and where I might put things. Um, we can start with this 2024, this little sticker here. I kind of like to always put this sort of like on the, usually it's vertical and I put it on the side, but maybe for right now we'll just kind of put this here. And then I've got like some financial goals that might go down here and I've got my word of the year is simplify so maybe we kind of put this here towards the top and then I had some self-care things that I wrote down here maybe this will go here and then this was I have some social media things and I'm just like plopping them in here, friends, just to kind of get something started. Just things will move around, but just kind of getting the shapes sort of positioned. And then this is home stuff. Put this like here. And then I've got my pictures. Otis's picture is kind of big. I might have to trim that down. Or I can put him here on the corner. And then my two girls, I could kind of do something like this with them. And then I've got these, there's all kinds of great like quotes and like little strips in here. Every day is a fresh start. Enjoy the simple things. So I like that because since my word is simplify, I thought this kind of went along with that. We can put something like that here. And then there's all these, um, be gracious with yourself. I thought this was really pretty. I liked that. We could do something like this here. And those could kind of overlap a little bit. Um, 
And then I've got this one here, the greatest moments in life are the simplest. So again, using that word simplify. So I wrote the definition here, simplify makes simpler or easier to do or understand. So kind of just my theme for the year is just kind of simplify life a little bit. So this is just kind of a rough sketch. I can put these kind of things here. Okay, and then I think what I'll do is I might work on getting some of the florals in on some of the borders. I wonder if I should put Otis here in this corner and then this can go here inside. I could kind of do something like that. Okay, so some of the florals I was looking at, this book is so pretty. There's so many great boxes. Was There's these here. These are really cute. And then there's even some washi. So there's more like these little strips here I could fill in with too. There's these big pretty flowers with the gold. I like all the little gold accents and then some smaller, same style, but smaller. This is where I took that box from. And there's lots of cool circle things I could fill in with. And then there's this flower here, which is cute. So this kind of pattern. And then here's some of that washi I was talking about. And then there's all this washi as well, which will look great, I think, kind of going along the edge. And then there was a page in here I wanna show you that had like, this is pretty. I was kind of hoping to figure out a way to use that. There's all these fun things. These are really big though. I don't think I'll have room for all of that. Gold boxes. There's this kind of different flower, but these had like corner pieces and stuff too. So family time, mom life, just, and then some more little washi. These are kind of smaller here. And some of the gold stuff, focus on. Oh, I like these. Some mom stuff, family time is the best time. I like that quote. Some big flowers. Again, these are all on transparent. So I'm going to start with some of these out here. I really liked these edge pieces. Where were they again, friends? I like these. Here we go. I want to start with some of these big edge pieces. I don't know how removable these are gonna be. I thought I would start, cause I like how they're already sort of laid out to be edge pieces. <laughs> so I thought I would kind of start with these in the middle. And let's see, I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna put these just like right along the edge of my page. Hard to kind of see the edge of the page. Okay, there, I think that's that. Cool, and then let's put some here on the bottom in the center too. Because that really fills in nicely. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge of the page and not the edge of the grid there. There's that. These are so pretty. Okay, so let's get this all the way to the coil. Okay, so there's that. And then let me find the big. Okay, so here's sort of these big ones. I kind of want to put these in the corners, like. Trying to get as much of 
the flower in there. That looks good, and I'll just trim that once I'm done. Let's get going on the opposite side. Let's see, so I put this like this. Let me turn the book around. And just kind of do something similar. Okay, so there's that. And while I have it upside down, let's go ahead and put in like, let's see. I'm gonna pull this one and see what this looks like. Maybe that's too big. Let's see what this one looks like that fills in. That kind of fills in really good there. Okay, and then what I can do is, let's see. I have these big ones. Let me put, let me do this same one over here first. Fill this in, I think it was this one. And kind of fill in here like that. Okay, so there's that. Oh, that's looking good so far. And you know what, maybe, I'm gonna leave this open on this end a little bit because what I might do is just kind of fill in. This picture is really big. I actually, I don't like this much like dead space in photos. I might trim him down a little bit, but then I, I lose my white border, but I don't know that I care about that. Okay, so let's just kind of temporarily put some things down. Do something like this. I'd rather cover the dead space of the airport there. So something like that. And I'm just gonna put these as placeholders and continue to kind of build around. What I might do is take one of these and kind of cut it in half. Of. Let me put it down. That's pretty there, and then I'm just gonna. Maybe I'll fill this in down here. Oh, that looks good. I think I'm gonna fill this little leaf right down there. And overlap that a little bit. Okay, so that's nice. I kinda like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna trim this picture down, friends. Okay, I like the size of this a little bit better. I'm just gonna stick that right there for now. Cause I think I might end up like putting a little bit of like some boxes behind it. Okay, so let's go back to, let's see, this was this flower, right? Wait, I think this was actually this one. And just kind of trying to be like symmetrical a little bit, if I can be. It's not going to be perfect because it's like going left to right. Because this, is this the same one? 
think it's kind of different. It's like the opposite. I think it's okay though. I think what I'm going to do is put this one like this. Because I feel like that actually fits right in there really nicely. And then let me cut this. Oops. And then I think I'll just add this up here next to these. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'll trim that late. I'll trim these little pieces later. Okay, so let's try to find where I want to put this 2024. I don't know, actually, maybe I put it here, like this. I don't actually love this little 2024, but it's the one that came with the, the kit, and it's the one that I have. Because I kind of want to put simplify. Let's start with my word and where we want to put that. I like putting him up towards the top here. Like that. Maybe 2024 can go down here. I'm going to leave that there for now. And then we had social media. You can kind of fill in here now that I've trimmed Otis. I have a little more space. Let's put social media here. We'll put Otis here. We'll put one of these little scripts here. I'm gonna put this here and do this one like here. And then I have more little quotey things that we can put in there too. And then let's put, there's some of these words here too that are nice. Be kind, inspire, grateful, choose love. And then there's these ones that are boxes. I like these. Like this is cute. I like this green. Oh, this is a good one, laugh. You can put laugh here with maybe one of these are pretty, like that. Do something like that, maybe. And then let's see what else over here. So we're gonna do Emma and Sophie. And then I've got finances. I'm gonna put these here. We've got some around the house things like that and then some self-care things up here and then this I like with self-care this be gracious with yourself we can maybe overlap that a little bit maybe move this down because this box is pretty plain. Put that like that maybe, overlap those, and then put my girls here, and then let's find some more. Let's see, we've got more quotes here. We can do a ton of these things. Be fearless, that's cool, I like that one. I wonder if we could find a cool box to put that on. Let's see. I think 
maybe some of these gold where's i'm looking for like the gold here we go i wonder if this will fit like it's kind of big Oh, that looks kind of cute. Could do something like that. Let me see what other boxes we have. We have some colorful ones. That's kind of cute though. I do kind of like this. I think that'll work. I could put this here like that. Kind of like that. And then over here I need something more over here friends i like these words these are kind of big though let me see how big this looks i could do like grateful and then i like this pink choose love let's go Oh, this says grateful. Same thing. This one, let's do this one, choose love. Could do choose love over here like that because these are my girls. I can move this down over, whoops. And then I want to do a third one. Uh, inspire. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, and then what else can we do? I kind of want to, you know what, friends? I think this is too big. I'm going to move this one over here. And then let's put this one over here because it's a little smaller. That's better. I think that's better. We'll do something like this. And then over here, I wanted to, there were some gold words in here. Yeah, like this. Focus on. Important, remember, let's do a focus on. And we'll put this like up above here with this. I'm just going to temporarily stick it there for now. Okay, and then... There are some other things that are like making memories, like things like that that I want to put in here. Fam time, mom life. Like I want to put a little quote down here. So I'm looking at I'm looking at some of these things, friends. I don't want to lay it on top of the book because I don't want them to press it down. Um, here's one that's that's. Love. Oh, I could put one of these like my whole heart, like under him or my sweet life over here with my girls. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay, I'm gonna start putting some of these down because I do like kind of where some of these are. So I think my simplify is okay there. I think this laugh is cute here. I just wanna make sure they're straight. Yeah, I think that looks straight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this one here like that. I think that's okay there. And then be fair. Oh, you know, I kinda, let me see if I wanna do a third because you know how I like to do threes, friends. Let me find where those are again. <laughs> that's the one thing about the, these books. I'm always flipping back and forth in the book and I'm sure that's super annoying. Um, I like this love, laughter and smiles or making memories. So that's an option. Let me see if there's any more of these. Be present, oh, be present. I feel like that's super important or find happiness in the journey. I think I'm gonna do this, friends. Let me move fearless for a second. Cause I think I actually like this idea here. Let me 
going to do this here. Be present in the moment. And then let me pull this up. I'm going to scooch this one over and I'm going to say this one here is enjoy the simple things and then I like this sentiment too every day is a fresh start and I'm going to put this one here okay I like that I think that looks good okay now do I still want to put this be fearless here I feel like that's kind of a lot. I wonder if maybe I, the Be Fearless, maybe I take it off the gold box. It's just floating then. Ah, yeah. That goes over there with my girls, friends. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's stick Otis down. So I have my tape runner gun. I have the Scotch ATG Advanced Tape Guyer, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this off to the side, friends. So you might not be able to see this in frame all the way, but it's just a double-sided, you know, the stick. It's for scrapbookers and crafters. Okay, so I want to slide Otis under here a little bit, and I'm gonna put him right here. Kind of close to the edge, but not right on the edge. Okay, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and let's put this down. And let's focus on. Okay, so. I'm gonna put this over here, kind of scooching it away from Otis a little bit. So these are just some home projects. But I'm just gonna put this here. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see. Where were all those ones that I just saw friends that I wanted to use? <laughs> Oh, here it is. My sweet life. Live more, get busy. My whole heart. I'm going to put this for my little guy. I'm going to put this up here. Not that my kids don't have my whole heart too, but I just want to put that there for him. And then there's a little bit of flower here, so that's good. I like that. Okay, so I kind of like this page. There's a little bit of white space. I'm not getting too, too crazy. Okay, so now let's look at this. So I wanna start, let's see. I think I like the position of this. So let's maybe move, let's see. It's hard to position this one because it's kind of a oblong shape. So it's not like I can line it up square with something. And then let's do this one here. I'm gonna line this along this graph. The graph paper does help with trying to get things somewhat straight. Okay, so maybe I have something to put in there. Okay, so now let's put my girls down. I'm gonna take this fearless up. And we'll again pull out the tape gun and just put some tape on the back of these. Again, sorry friends if this is out of frame, it's just because I, I have limited space on my little desk here. There's YouTube videos on how to load the tape on these. I always have to watch it every time because I always forget in between. Okay, so let's do Oops, I want to get Emma kind of up in this corner here, like this, and Soph here. I just don't want Soph to be covered too, too much, but I like that we're covering up a lot of that, like, background noise. And then let's see if this little edge will come up and we'll put this little bit of flower over Emma. 
kind of overlap a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there's my girls and they are fearless. So let's put this here with them. I kind of like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so now moving down the page, let me get my tweezers. I'm gonna put this here. So we've got grateful. I'm just gonna move these up just a little bit. Choose love. And inspire. Oh, I like that. Those are all good words to be near my kiddos. Okay, and then this one here, we can move this over just a smidge. Let me put this, let's see. I don't want to. Just some social media goals. Okay, so there's that. And then the finances, let me put down. Put those here. And then this 2024 can stay down here. I think that's fine, that's straight enough. Okay, so there's that. And then now let's do a couple fun things here. My sweet life. I like this here. I wonder if I should do another one of these or a flower. I like this. My sweet life. I'm going to put this here with my babies. And then this is just, there's so many good things in here. Let's see. We've got more flowers too that I can put in. in love with moments find happiness in the journey I do kind of like this sentiment the other thing too is I could just put some flowers in here fall in love with moments I think I kind of want to just find some little elements to put in here like let's see this might be this one might be too big but let's see what I think of this one maybe let's see we put just some flowers here like that I like that and then there's another one. There's just so much white here. I'm just trying to kind of put a little bit of color down here. I want to get this flower like right on there. Okay, that helps that. And then over here, I've got this one here. There's just a little bit of white space in here. Can't tell if I want the leaves up. There, I kind of like that. There, just kind of fill a little bit of space there. Oh my gosh. This actually came together a little bit easier than I thought it was going to. Okay, I really want to look at some more of these like little words here because I love all of these little, like these kinds of things. I mean, I love that so many things, it's so funny how the Happy Planner books always seem to have something to do with my word, or maybe it's subconscious and I pick my word because I've seen it in the Happy Planner stickers, but it seems like every year there's always things about growth or bloom was last year's, 
And then this one's simple, like this one says, enjoy the simple things and the greatest moments in life are the simplest, like it just all kind of comes together. Let's see. So these little dots came from the book too. So they were from this page. So pretty much everything came from the book except for this little sticker here. And then these are, this here is from Big Elephant Plants as well as the little YouTube and Instagram icons. I like these too. I just don't know if I need them. I kind of like this Big Dreams. I don't know. Let's see if this makes sense here or if it just looks like too much, friends. Like, am I just getting too busy for busy sake and filling in space? It's just kind of like one on top of the other. I think maybe I need like, a, if I'm going to put something there, it needs to be a different shape. Although I think it's looking pretty good as is. Let's see. Like if I think if I put anything, maybe it's one of these circle things. I don't know. Let's see what this... No, I have flowers there. No, I think that just looks like it's just trying to fill space. Mm. I don't know, friends. Maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe this is as good as it's going to get. I've got some more. Let's see. I've already got Grateful, Choose Love, and Inspire. So the only other one here on this page is Be Kind, which I love. Make sense to put this in here by itself. Be kind. I mean, that's always a good sentiment to have. Okay, let's see. Maybe I didn't even use all this washi, and I kind of thought I might. I mean, I guess I could put a washi there, but or any of these too. And I kind of thought I would use these. Let's see. Oh, little half circles, those are fun. I didn't even see that. I don't know, I like all the words though. I was thinking I could do something like this where I take the be kind off and I put this little half circle here. Um, I could put it like this. No, you know what? I think I just like the little be kinder and I think what I'll do is go back to my flowers because there's these little pieces and do one of these little gems here. Be kind. Like that. And see how these flowers are angling this way? I'm going to put this one that way. There, I think I'm gonna do that. And then, let's see, do I want anything else in here? I actually really kind of like it. Maybe the only thing I would do is put like a little something down here for Otis and maybe a little something up there in the corner for the girls. But I don't know if I wanna go big or like, because I actually kind of like the white corner. And you almost don't even see that. I think maybe I might just leave it. Okay, you know what, friends? What I say is I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to sit with this for a while. And if I decide that I want to add to it... I can, but I don't want to overdo it. So I think I'm I think I'm gonna call it good. So my word for this year is simplify, which means simply to make simpler or easier to do or understand. Um, I've got some things I want to focus on in the house. It's time for me to purge and reorganize my storage up here. I did it a couple years ago when I first started the Clean Mama, and I kind of need to hit it hard again. 
I need to purge the girls' mementos. Now that they're both off to college, they need to decide, are we keeping all of their old clay things they made in second grade? Are we keeping all of their trophies and all of that? Sophie needs to go through her jerseys, pick her jerseys for her quilt that her grandma will make because she made one for Emma. Um, and I also want to go through my kitchen stuff, like all of my utensils. I think I need to get a new set of like everyday flatware because I've noticed things missing. Like I don't have as many spoons as I used to have or as many forks. And so I kind of need to reorganize some of that kitchen stuff. And then just my self-care, I really need to start working on strength and doing some like band and resistance work, maintaining flexibility. I want to find another activity. We haven't been bowling it for a while, um, but maybe we'll get into a bowling league again. My little brother, he's really been golfing with Scott a lot. And then just making sure that I'm getting enough rest as I get older. And then some financial things that I want to take care of, increasing my emergency fund. That's kind of an always every year, increasing my, my retirement savings, paying off any debt, that kind of thing. And then my social media, I'm probably gonna take it down to two videos a week, at least two weeks, two videos a week, friends. If I get to three, that's just great. But again, just trying to simplify things. And then two posts for Instagram, like I just totally fell off the wagon with Instagram. And I'm putting growth goals here just to have growth, like to just put that out there. I'm not gonna, be upset with myself if I don't make it but that's just kind of the goal there so that's kind of what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go through I forgot I have to trim these little bits off here on the edge of the paper just the little things that are hanging over so there's that just a little clear there's just a little clearer transparent edges to the stickers I just noticed that as I was kind of wrapping up here Okay, so there's that. And then do I have any up here? I think I have a few up here. Okay, I think this is so pretty. I like it. You know what, friends? It actually kind of coordinates with the colors in the Inspire cover I think at least in my mind so there we have it my vision board for 2024 like I said I'm gonna let it sit I feel like I've got a lot of great things in here if I felt like I wanted to fill in a few little blank spots I always I can but for now I think I just want to leave it as is all right friends that's it for this video let me know if you've chosen a word of the year and what it is and kind of what you want to focus on for the year all right thanks for watching take care bye-bye